Hey everybody, this is Mike from Homegrown Video, bringing you some flood gameplay. I decided to do a semi-strategy vid since um, when I first started playing Flood, I found it a little difficult, especially when starting as the Flood, uh, which armor abilities were best used, and basically just an overall gameplay strategy. Uh, so I played a few games, found that the active camo gave me the um, best advantage, especially when starting as a Flood, um, because you're starting with a it's a two against eight, and like I've said in earlier videos, if you don't talk to your teammates, it can be pretty hard to coordinate with them. Um, and coordination is really key when you're outnumbered. I found that, like in this situation right here, sneaking around with the armor with the uh, active camo armor ability, I was able to sneak around on those two guys and quickly turn this into a six on four game. Now I'm using it to sneak up top here. Missed the first one, but I traded out. And now we're a five on five game, so we were able to quickly even the odds. Uh, from this point on, I don't think it's entirely necessary to keep using armored ability. I mean, um, not armored, really active camo. Um, right here, I kind of used it to kind of screw with this guy a little bit. I saw that my teammate Yolo down there was coming up on him and had a nice fail with the thruster pack. So that would have. Uh, I was hoping that he would not miss, but. Oh well. Uh, sometimes what I do later in the game at this point is I'll start using Promethean Vision so that I can find those guys that have kind of run off by themselves and are hiding in the corners of the map. Um, so here, the last guy is all by himself, all the way out there. I've kind of been... I tried a few different ways as a Spartan. Um, running off by myself and also playing with a group. I think that there's advantages to both. Obviously, if you hang out in a group, you've got more firepower and you can defend yourselves against attacks more easily. But at the same time, I mean, I found that it's pretty easy for a Flood and a Spartan to trade out. So, a lot of times what's going to happen is a Flood's going to be able to get into your group and he's going to at least be able to take one person. And then if he does that enough, then you guys are going to be outnumbered, and then they all know where the group is, and they're all going to come straight for you to overwhelm you. So in this round, what I decided to do is I kind of struck out by myself. Um, I'm using the Promethean Vision so that I can keep an eye on where the Flood are coming from. And also, using the Promethean Vision, you can see the Flood that are in active camo. Instead of having a red outline, they'll have a light blue outline. What I've found to work out the best is uh, starting off with my pistol while wow, there's only a couple flood and then burning through all that ammo and then switching over to the shotgun. Um, you just don't really want to be in a situation where there's three flood coming at you and all you have left is a pistol clip because you may not even be able to take one out. So by getting rid of the using the pistol for the first few kills and then having the majority of your shotgun ammo for later in the game when you really need it I found it's given me the most success so here I use my Promethean vision to see which direction he was gonna hit me from um, another thing that I noticed um, when I was playing these my first few flood rounds my I just had the game default sensitivity which is actually at three I found that to be way too slow to turn on these flood players when they overshoot you so, I think on this game I'm playing on 6 or 7, and then by the end of the night I was actually, I have my uh, sensitivity on 10 now. So here I've got another teammate hanging out with me. We decided to, well I decided to sit up in this corner by this guy, feel, sense, for whatever reason that... Um, one flood player was constantly coming over here, so I figured it was a good way to get some easy kills. So there, like right there, we just traded. Um, and I don't know why I picked active camo for this one, especially where we're... I mean, it's not totally even. I think it, it's a 
five on five right now, but usually at this point I'd be using Promethean Vision to find these last few guys, especially where there's so little time left. So, um, but I swear the screen to pick your loadouts goes so fast that sometimes you don't even have a chance to kind of readjust <laughs> or to really think about by the time you decide which loadout you want, you're already respawning. So here we're just going to grab this last guy. Here's a really good situation of when active camo was good for Spartans. I mean, I couldn't even see him. And uh, our first guy there had another fail with the thrusters. The thrusters seem to be pretty 50-50 um, for Flood. I've seen them work out well just as many times as I've seen them work out terribly. Um, this round I did actually see some good thruster use. I'm also this time going to run with, I think it was about seven teammates, or seven of us total are going to be hiding back here, sticking it out together, and we hold off pretty well for a while until there is a trade out, and then things start to go sideways. So I think it is about seven of us total up here. One guy kind of went off by himself to the left. You can see him way out there, cat. So burn through all my pistol ammo already. Got my shotgun out. I'm going to scan periodically with Promethean Vision. Also, something I've noted that I've thought about with the thrusters is I mean, you can hear those things go off. I don't think it's I don't think it's a viable strategy to use the thrusters early in the game, especially when you're trying to sneak around on people. I don't know if the edge that it gives you in terms of your movement really outweighs the um, detriments of using them and maybe with a lot of practice it is something that you can even out the probability a little bit more of being successful with them but I'm not at a point in my usage with them that I find them to be particularly useful so also higher sensitivity lets you move around a little bit better and get the swing on something like that so they're kind of coming to us one at a time, which, I mean, they were able to trade out once, but oh, there's one guy that was decided to run off by himself. When the game comes down to, to a situation like this where you have a pretty good stronghold going, it is really easy to get impatient and want to go off and just start getting kills, especially where the competitive aspect is still there, there's still a ranking toward the end on how many points you get, and also with gaining experience to rank up. The temptation can be high to just kind of run off and try to get kills, especially if it doesn't seem like the other team's doing that well. But it's situations like that where you run around a corner and all of a sudden you get taken out by a flood that you didn't see two seconds ago. And right there got a little overwhelmed. And I think there's only a couple guys left. Again, active camo. I'm not sure what I think I just keep getting stuck with the active camo, and I'm not having a chance to pick Promethean, I don't really know. Normally I'd be taking Promethean Vision at this point, and using it to find these last couple guys. And of course there he is all the way on the other side of the map. So this has been Mike with Homegrown Video, hope you enjoyed the video, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.